Recently, I added a few more characters. The ones you see here are the enemies. They're all characters. I mean, they're all the same code. The only difference is that one is controlled. This one is controlled by my keyboard, and these two are controlled by AI. And if I walk towards it, it's going to attack. If I'm farther away, it's not going to attack. It's going to go back to the idle animation. Uh, let me just look at the states. Uh, right now, it's it's only two. It's only going between idle and attack. I'm just testing things if, right now. But later on, I'll have uh, various enemy behaviors, different types of enemies, and I'll place them, you know, wherever I want to. And it, it'll be basically level design. And because these are the same characters, I mean, because these are using the same code, and I've tried to make it as modular as possible, I could just swap out the main player with a different character. And it should work exactly the same way. Okay, it's the exact same code, the same player, the only difference is the artwork. I found this character in a in the Unity Asset Store. And, and later in the future, I, I can just change the art, change the background, or edit a few things uh, in terms of gameplay without breaking the code. I see a lot of times people are in a hurry, so they just hard code everything just to get things done. But then later on, it gets it gets hard to edit. Sometimes when you change one thing, it just breaks out the entire game. Uh, for me, I'm not in a hurry, so I think I should be okay. I, I just like to think about shit before I go, you know, head first. So right now, I'm still working with the basics. And if I just delete the enemy manually, the other one behind should act exactly the same because it's the same code. For the player, I added a little jump animation. I mean, if I press space, it goes into a little jump prep animation and then jumps. Uh, I'm thinking about taking the prep out, the, pre the preparation animation out, because it actually looks like lag. I don't want it to feel like it's slow. So, so later on, I might just jump straight into the jump animation instead of the player sort of crouching a little bit for the jumping that just looks like lag and let me just restart the game later in the future i'll add in you know cool stuff like the background you know maybe a better looking character and i gotta put everything together so that the the story kind of matches i don't even have a story yet but later on i might the point being i can always change the artwork you can actually play this with a cube the, the artwork can be changed any time. Uh, and pretty much that's all I can say for now. I would have to look for some art in the Unity Asset Store, or I could maybe make them myself, which is probably not a good choice since I'm not an artist. Or I could also find someone else to work on the art and let him do whatever he likes, and then I'll slap it on to the code, and it should work exactly the same. So that's it for today. Maybe for the next video, I'm thinking about adding an actual character death. So either one of these characters can attack and die. Uh, I might also have some particle effects to emphasize a few things like the, the slashing, the, the hitting, and, and, and anything that makes it look good. Maybe the camera shake. We'll see. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.